Blade Smiths, welcome to the Forge. In this first round of competition, there will be no signature blades in your signature style. I'm not even gonna tell you what the weapons tests are. Instead, I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and lift the cloths off your anvils. What you see on your anvil is a pristine piece of 1095 high carbon steel that you will have to use to make one of these. What is it? I'm not gonna tell you. Get ready for a hell of a ride. Your two hours starts now. John's got the right idea. Going sideways up Big Blue. As soon as you stretch that steel wide, get that three inches in. Big Blue has a fullering dies on one side. Fullering dies move the metal to the side instead of forward, so I can get the width and the thickness I need for the finished plate. I am making a big, wide, crazy spearhead of some sort. <laughs> that wouldn't tell us the name, but <laughs> it looks cool. The biggest challenge is moving this giant piece of steel. As a bit of a purist, I really like the idea of doing 100% hand-hammered work. But after seeing how little it's going to move for me under my sledgehammer, I've realized that my only option is to bring some power tools into the equation. All right. So, all so right. Nice Chris, to see Chris. that Chris has discovered the power tool. <laughs> yeah, Chris is already tired, I think. Saw the light. I'm going to finish my forging, and I'll start working on the rough grinding. My goal here today is to have fun. And winning is fun, so I'm planning to have a lot of fun. I like to design my weapons for their intended purpose. But not knowing that, I think it's really going to motivate me to just make an all-around badass weapon. Man, that blade's starting to look really, really nice. And it's got that right shape to it. One way I'm able to continue drying out the steel towards the sides is by using the hand hammer to do my bevels, so I don't have as much grinding to do. Meanwhile, John running away with the competition. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good. My blade is where I want it to be, but I got to add these notches to the pointy blade thingy. Are we making a spear today? Is this a spear? Is it a hunting implement? <laughs> That's the fun part of this challenge. We know. They don't know. Just make what you see there. I want to make sure I have the same spacing as the piece that the judges had. I just don't want to go home missing a parameter. So I'm going to take advantage of the sample weapon so I can make mine as exact as I possibly can in time I'm alive. I am completely lost as to what these notches are for, but I'm going and making them rounded so that I avoid any stress points in my blade. Time for my heat treat. I still think Ted, Ted plays is on the thin side. Going for the quench. Wait, there we go. All right, Ted, just quench. Pull it out, and it's straight, and I'm all happy with that. I feel really good about my spear point, or whatever they want to call it. I got to get the heat treat done, and I'll be set. I'm trying to stay one step ahead of any problems that I see coming up. John's cutting out two pieces of angle iron so he can clamp his blade in there after he quenches. And John just quenched. I'm pulling out, everything looks good, but I know that it can warp while it's finishing hard. So I throw it into the jig just to make sure everything's perfect. Textbook. Everything he does. Yeah. I don't have much time left. I need to quench. That tip is red hot. Pressure is just beating down on me at this point, but I'm going to get this blade done. Beautiful. This blade is hard. I am just awash with joy and relief. Three, two, one. Bladesmith, shut down your machines, drop your tools. This Woo. first round of competition is over. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, it's time for the strength test. I know you've been waiting a while to find out what this will be. Well, the wait's over. Now, to test the strength and overall construction of your weapons, I will be throwing them into our covered wagon over here. It's OK, Chris. It'll be fine. <laughs> now, this test isn't really about whether your weapons stick into the target or not. It's how they hold up that's important. All right? Chris, you're up first. Are you ready? Yes, sir, I am. Let's do this. My war club is going to be thrown at a solid wall of wood planking. I am feeling scared to death right at this moment. <laughs>
All right, Chris, this thing is definitely solid. I'll tell you that much. But there's a lot of mass to it. The handle, I can just touch those fingers together. But uh, as far as a strength test goes, your blade is still as sharp as when we started. It's still locked in tight. It's strong, held together. Good Thank job. You, sir. John, you're up next. OK. I'm really nervous about this war club. I'm worried that the fit isn't tight enough and the glue's not strong enough. The club could come apart, the blade could break. There's just a number of things that can go wrong at this point. All right, John, very solid. You got some good bling on there. That's a good looking piece. But it's a little hard to range this weapon in. I mean, I, that handle is pretty big. Having said that, if you got hit in the chest with this thing that was flying at you, whether the blade hits you or not, you're going down. <laughs> Still a perfectly effective weapon, whether I can get it ranged in or not. But as far as the strength test goes, everything's still right, tight, Solid, good job. Thank you. All right, Ted, you're up. Ready for this? Let's do it. With my weapon, I'm definitely concerned about when it hits the wagon, something breaking, cracking. Man, I can't watch that. That's horrific. Gentlemen, before we began the last round, I told you that the parameters were the absolute minimum standard that your weapon had to meet to even be looked at by the judges, let alone tested. Ted, the back of the head of your war club was supposed to fall between seven and nine inches. You are a quarter inch short, and therefore, your weapon cannot be tested, and you cannot be the Forged and Fire champion. However, we would like to commend your performance here. Please shake our hands, then shake your competitor's hands, and exit the Forged. You did great work, my friend. Thanks, well. I had no idea that I'd come up short on the parameters. Good fight, man. Keep your head up. Thank you. I should have double-checked. I got careless, and that's what's sending me home. This has been an amazing experience, and it's been an incredible honor to be here. 